What's up, Webheads? It's your friendly neighborhood frontliner, and welcome back to episode two on the look back this week in cosplay culture. Spider Man, Spider Man, does whatever a spider can. Thanks for stopping in, y'all. We got a couple things to go over this week, so make sure you sit tight, grab your headphones, grab your snacks, grab your inanimate carbon rod, and let's get this show on the road. It's a Simpsons reference. You nasty. But why don't we go ahead and kick things off with what we got going on this week in the con world. Starting today and running all weekend, we've got a big one for you. That's right, y'all. This weekend in the windy city of Chicago, Illinois, we've got the massive event that is C2E2 being held at the McCormick Place Convention Complex. About 80 bucks is going to net you a weekend pass, or you can do each individual day from a range of about 40 to 50 bucks. And once you get in there, make sure you're keeping your eyes peeled for some of the many guests you're going to be able to run into from comic culture to TV to anime all sorts of complete the geekdom that you're looking for. If you happen to be going in for the comic side, you're going to get to see such guests like Eric Canede, Carlo Pagulayan, Amy Chu and Greg Horn, Bob Camp and Brian Stelfreeze, and plenty, plenty more so that you guys can get your fill. So make sure if you're going in for the comics, you stop by Artist Alley so you can get your fill of Marvel and anime stuff. What's that ball? What about DC? People still read DC? On the entertainment side of guests, there's definitely a star-studded cast for you guys to meet and greet. Gotta get your wrestling fix in? You've got Amy Dumas and Mean Gene Okerlund, Rey Mysterio, and even Jerry the King Lawler will be gracing you with his presence. And if you're looking to get your Stranger Things fangasm going, Millie Bobby Brown and Gatan Matarazzo will also be there. And for all you Buffy fans, yes, all six of you, BARK! <laughs> Claire Kramer will be hitting up the panels all weekend just for you guys. Toss in a couple Rangers like David Yost and JDF, and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to pack your schedule with all the fandom that you guys can handle. And on the cosplay side of guests, there's actually some cool news. This is the first year that C2E2 has offered Cosplay Central. After a huge demand for it, the convention listened, and now cosplayers from beginner to pro have an area where they can go for repairs, meet and greets, and all different types of cool stuff in the cosplay community. Here is where you're gonna get the chance to catch some awesome workshops where you guys can build your skills, whether, again, you're pro or beginner. And you'll also get to sit in on some really cool panels where you get to watch the pros talk about how they went from where they were to where they are in today's cosplay world. Speaking of which, did I mention you'll get the chance to run into a couple really cool pro cosplayers? That's right, the amazing Ivy Doom Kitty and Holly Conrad will be rounding out that star-studded list of guests. Make sure if you spot them, be kind, say hello, be respectful, and try to snag a picture, all right? Many more guests will have panels and autograph sessions that we couldn't cover in this video, but if you head on over to the webpage in the description down below, you'll be able to find out all the information you need when you're attending C2E2. But that sums up our cons that we got going on for this weekend across cosplay culture. If you plan on hitting up the cons and you want to include us, why don't you go ahead and use the hashtag SpideyQFrontline or tag Comic Frontline in your picture so we can share in the adventure with you guys. Always remember, be polite, be respectful, and always, always do your best to enjoy yourselves. And moving on from that, we've got our Patreon shoutouts for the week. This week, we've got two really awesome cosplay players and one of them happens to be a toy maker that you all might be familiar with. Our first Patreon shout out is going to go to the lovely Maid of Might. At 109 patrons, Ms. Might is well on her way to something lucrative in the cosplay world. As a daily poster, she's always making sure that you're getting the best bang for your buck across all her tiers. All nine of them. The tiers have a wide range of price and accessibility, so they're more geared to your budget. Tier 1 for $1 a month gets you access to all her Patreon posts and helps you contribute on your budget. If you're looking to dig a little deeper, you can scroll all the way down to her tier 9 for $100 a month. That tier is where you're going to be able to find her private hangout chats, signed cosplay prints and personal Polaroids, an exclusive Patreon Snapchat, and all the perks you get for every tier preceding that. A big, big thank you to Jess from all of us at the front line for letting us shout you out and doing our best to help you grow and contribute the best we can to your Patreon. You'll find all the information on Made of Might in the description down below. Our next Patreon shoutout goes to an outstanding lady and a really outstanding friend of mine and that is bring the mayhem as a newcomer to the patreon world her page is brand new and fresh boasting five patreons being the highly in-demand creator to the stars i swear pretty much every walking dead person has one of her pops if not two or five of them her toys are heavily sought out by the masses so naturally patreon was the next step having three tiers on her patreon ranging from one dollar which will get you a twitter shout out and all access to her patreon feed all the way to her 15 dollar tier which gets you everything from the first two tiers and a chance to be entered into a giveaway for a free pop custom that month and i hear tell that 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 giveaway also includes a signed print of herself. 
Better head on over there and check it out to make sure. Having the three tiers gives it a solid range for you guys to contribute on your budget and helps you contribute to a budding artist in the cosplay community. Pretty much every pop custom you see here on Box is made by her and I think I've got another five on the way or 10 or possibly 20. I just need more of them because they're just amazing. My Pikachu, probably my favorite one. Next to Vega, because he's so cute. Being an artist myself, I always pay credit where credit is due. So Leslie, thanks a ton for letting your boy at the front line shout out your Patreon and hopefully get you started on this booming career. And of course, you'll be able to find all of Leslie's information in the description down below. And since we're in the spirit of shout outs, it's that time for our Cosplay of the Week. I loaded up all the male and all the female cosplayers from my Instagram and pulled out one male and one female from each of those lists. So without further ado, boom, our Cosplay female Bree Mac and our Cost Bay male, Woodstock Spider Man. Congrats to you both for being our Cost Bay of the Week. As always, guys, you'll be able to find the information to all of them in the description down below. The next Cost Bay of the Week is either going to be decided by a Twitter poll or on my Instagram. Make sure you guys tune in Monday for the vlog that you'll be seeing and tune in on the Instagram for a way where you guys can be involved in picking our Cost Bay of the Week. And last but not least, guys, let's see what your boy has in queue for this week. Really? Nothing? Over the course of this month, I'm gonna be building mine in Beans's 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 Beans's. Over the course of this month, I'll be building mine and Beans's Anime North cosplays. I'll be posting updates on my Instagram and my Snapchat and my Twitter as often as I can, but you'll mostly be able to find the updates on our builds on the Comic Frontline website under the Spidey Q section. There is where you're gonna be able to leave us comments on what you think about the build, any tips and tricks you might have for us, or any direction you think we should take the build in so that everybody can be involved. Also, keep eyes out for Facebook and Instagram live streams either on the con dates or closer to the con dates so you guys can see what we got going in the workshop. You'll always be able to follow most of my progress on Instagram, which is where I mainly post everything. So if you're interested in doing that, why don't you head on over to the Instagram, give it a follow, check out some of the pics, tag along for the ride. But I think that's gonna go ahead and do it, y'all. So why don't we go ahead and wrap this one up for the week. I really appreciate you guys taking the time with me today. If you guys like what you saw today, why don't you go ahead and click that like button. And if you're excited to see what's coming up next, why don't you go ahead and thwip thwip the subscribe button too. And of course, guys, if you can think of one or two people who are excited to come along for the ride as much as you are, why don't you share the video and spread some love on the web. But as always, webheads, thanks for hanging. I'm SpideyQ, TGIF, and I'll see you next week on Frontline.